Hi, uh, my name is Kevin Rees and I'm um, Head of Teaching uh, at Geography at Swansea University. Um, thank you for watching this uh, video and I hope we can uh, answer many of the questions that you might have about our schemes. Uh, so in Geography we offer a variety of different degree schemes. Uh, undergraduate level we offer uh, schemes in Single Honours Geography, both in BSc and BA. We offer a Bachelor of Arts in a Human Geography and BSc in Physical Geography and in Physical Earth Sciences. We also offer Joint Honours schemes uh, including Geography and Geoinformatics um, and also schemes with um, a variety of different modern languages, uh, with history and with social policy. Um, many uh, questions we get asked uh, by visitors uh, frequently are things like how many contact hours can I expect when I arrive in my first year? And uh, it depends upon the degree scheme that you're studying. Obviously there's a lot of reading involved at university, uh, but you can typically expect between 17 and 22 hours of direct contact uh, uh, instruction uh, with your lecturers uh, per week. Uh, more so than t the 22 hours is uh, if you're doing physical geography uh, or physical earth science, selecting geology modules because you have additional practical teaching uh, for those subjects. A little bit less than around the 17 to 18 hours if you're doing more human geography where we need you to do that little bit more reading um, for your degree. Those hours increase at uh, level 2, uh, they go up to 22 to 24 hours because at level 2 we're teaching you more about the research methods that you need to employ as a geographer, particularly preparing you if you're a, uh, a single honours geographer uh, for your dissertation research at level 3. So that's an idea of the contact hours um, and of course the, you'll fill up the rest of your time uh, with, with, uh, with reading uh, and pre preparation for exams and writing essays and these types of things. In terms of the researchers and teachers that we have in the department, um, some key names that uh, you might be familiar with. Uh, we have Professor Tavy Murray who is a, leads the glaciology group in the geography department. Uh, she's uh, been a lead author in the most recent IPCC report on climate change. Um, also was awarded the prestigious Polar Medal in 2007 and nominated as um, a Welsh Woman of the Year in the same year. We have um, a Professor Heaven Crawley uh, whose particular interest is in migration and forced asylum and she's done a lot of work with the UK Home Office uh, as well as being Associate Director of the Institute for Public Policy Research uh, prior to her joining the department. But she continues to advise the government on migration and asylum issues. We also have Professor Shuan Davis, uh, who's been awarded the, the Philip Leverhulme Prize in Geography uh, for her contributions to climate change uh, research uh, in 2011 and is currently a uh, principal investigator on a 1.5 million euro uh, grant using TEFRA, which is volcanic ash, as a useful marker in uh, research on climate change. The head of department, Professor Stefan Dorr, uh, has uh, been awarded uh, a prize for his outstanding research in soil science by the European Geographical Union and was in fact the youngest academic ever to receive that prize. We've also uh, recently had a, a very prestigious publication from another one of our professors, Professor Peter North, um, who has rather debunked uh, a, a long-held uh, understanding that the Amazon rainforest greens up in periods of, uh, of relative drought and in fact he along with researchers from NASA were able to reveal that this in fact was um, a, a, a technical uh, error uh, rather than actually 
uh, a change in the Amazon rainforest. And that's important in terms of its ability to uh, absorb uh, carbon dioxide. So it was a very important finding. And that's been published in the prestigious journal Nature. So within the geography department, we have some uh, very uh, world-leading research uh, and researchers. To come back to some of the questions that were often asked by students who visit us on our many open days and visit days, um, we asked about, about careers. What type of career might I expect to get uh, once I graduate from a geography degree at Swansea? Um, and it's very varied. Many of our uh, students, our graduates, become uh, employed in management and administration, in finance and business and related professions, um, also in the, in the leisure and marketing industries, but also in things like government planning and resource planning, as well as, as you might expect, uh, some of them go on to become excellent geography teachers and indeed university lecturers. Employability, employment is of course very important these days for undergraduates and we're building that into our degrees here at Swansea University. So we have uh, the week of work for example providing our students with a taster of employment um, and also SPIN, Swansea's paid uh, internship uh, network that provides longer periods of paid employment for our students. Uh, over a matter of several weeks, uh, often during the summer. We can also link that in with our degree schemes. So if you have uh, conducted work, even on a voluntary basis, you can in your third year uh, conduct a work placement module, turning that employment into credit in your third year, so that um, you uh, can... Oh, sorry. Another question we're frequently asked by, us, by students is uh, study abroad and in the geography department we offer a degree, a four year degree, geography with European studies uh, where you study in a foreign language so if you are uh, interested in, in French, you're doing French for an A level perhaps or German or Spanish then you, we have opportunities for you to go and study uh, in a university there uh, through that language. And so we currently have Erasmus exchange agreements uh, with the University in Lyon, in France, Zaragoza in Spain, and Kiel in Germany. And we're also looking uh, at the moment uh, at some very exciting uh, prospects for study abroad but through the medium of English. And I'm currently involved in meetings uh, with uh, de departments in France uh, and also with the United States uh, for uh, English language-based exchange agreements for our students to open up those uh, international study opportunities for all of our students regardless of your language proficiency. So some really exciting prospects there for international study. To come back to our, our student cohort then, uh, we're, a, we're a large department in terms of staff. We have now over 30 uh, staff in geography at Swansea. And we also have a large student cohort, a vibrant community of students studying with us. Um, around 550 undergraduate students uh, uh, will, will, be, will be with us this, this coming year. You may be worried that you're going to be just a, a number forgotten to face in the crowd, but we also uh, run every year small group tutorials that meet typically every other week. Um, so that you're not just a face in a large lecture theatre of maybe 150, 160 students, but rather you're going to be one of typically eight students uh, in a small group with a personal tutor where you can discuss geographical issues, you can discuss academic skills like referencing and, um, uh, and developing arguments through your essay writing and debating. So you're not just uh, a face in the crowd. Uh, and Swansea Geography every year uh, is commended on our open door policy by our students. We do really get to know our students and care for them. So finally in terms of um, our ranking, uh, we're, a, we're a, a successful department and we're moving up in the, uni in the university's rankings as well. We're in the top 200 uh, in, the, in, in the world as a geography department and in the UK in the, in, in the the, the Times rankings were, uh, and the Guardian rankings were in the top 30. 
in the most recent Times ranking, our student satisfaction with our degree courses is 96% satisfaction, and that places us in the top five of all joint geography departments in the UK. So I hope that uh, you found this video interesting, and if you have any more questions, we'd love to meet you. We have many open days through the year that you're welcome to come to. Check out the website um, for those dates. Um, and then also, if you're interested in applying to us, we also have additional visit days that are uh, by invitation. So many opportunities for you to come and meet us, to come and see our facilities as well here at Swansea and our beautiful campus. So thank you for watching. Um, all the very best.